is a really a beautiful generation. They're all about um, kind of uh, everything is beautiful in its own way, right? This is the generation that um, their first were anything technology, cell phones. It wasn't the PC. That thing is old. It was email, text messaging. Average millennial who works for you is online 10 hours a day. So, you know, when you're the boss and you're gone, okay, are they texting again? <laughs> the answer is yes. <laughs> now you don't have to worry about it anymore. The is yes. So, it's very important with millennials because they are very moldable. They want to do a, they're not the renegades, though they're looking to push new boundaries. So. You had the extreme with the extras, and then the millennials said, well, we can top that. So the extras said, let's, you know, it used to be you got a tattoo. You were a sailor or a bad woman, right? That's what the boomers were thinking. Man, you must be on that side of town, right? Now, the extras, they said, yeah, I just want a little something special to show who I am. The millennials came in and said, I'm doing my whole body, <laughs> right? You can tell a millennial because they got like 12 piercings. Their brain is being pierced right now, too. So it's like all push all the boundaries as far as I can possibly go. But really, they need a lot. They're looking for a lot of direction. They want a lot of support, and they need a tremendous amount of feedback. They are following great entrepreneurs, brilliant people who came up with stuff that no one had thought of yet. No one had imagined possible. And so this is a generation that is uh, very moldable. One of the most important things you can do as a manager is make sure you have orientation that is clear. You see, culture has to be clear for diff to, at different levels for different uh, people and generations. When you say to a uh, traditionalist, here's the way we do things, they say, thank you very much, and they go. And the manager's thinking, man, I need like 400 of those people. And they're so easy. The other problem there is that traditionalists don't like change. So you want to change directions, it's like stopping the Titanic and making a three-point turn. Very hard to do. They, they were, they're more frightened by change because of their experiences. So over here with the millennials, They've got a lot of agility, but they don't know a lot of things. Like They think that when you text someone and you put you, the letter, R, uh, fat, P-H-A-T, that the rest of us understand that you think I'm cool. Because P-H-A-T, by the way, look at all these boomers. <laughs> who would write something like that, P-H-A-T? P-H-A-T? Who, who knows what P-H-A-T means? Oh, look at you. <laughs> cool, it means cool, right? Well. It means awesome. hot and tempting. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Technically, but it means, you know, like when they're communicating, it's, it's like awesome. So, <laughs> you can say it, I couldn't. So, um, now, if, but if you were to write, if I was to read as a boomer, you are fat, I'd be like, let me tell you a little something about what you and I got going on here. <laughs> now, get them to start doing email with the boomer. Right? You gotta reteach them how to communicate in written communication. You know, yo, yo, how you doing? <laughs> you know, you said that you say that to a traditionalist, where's the honor in that? Yo. What's happening? Man, that was ill. It was another one cool thing. Yeah. I asked I asked uh, my uh, nanny, hey, what does ill mean to you? And she's like, cool. Like, huh? <laughs> what is cool about ill? She's like, it's just cool. <laughs> so, you know, so, I, so, so when I went out to dinner last night and it was really kind of a cool place, I could say, hey, it was ill, man. She's like, yeah, exactly. That's what you would write. <laughs> so, you have to help this generation understand writing skills are different. You have to help this generation understand that, um, yes, the extras did create casual because they never left college, remember? They're still wearing what they wore in college. So they brought it into the environment. So you have to work with them, with the extras, to help them understand 
that um, that's probably not professional enough. With the millennials, you just have to tell them because they don't even know. See, the, the Xers were going and saying it like, you know, screw you, I'm going to do whatever I want. Right? The, the millennials are like, well, okay, I wasn't supposed to have my butt hanging out of my pants. But that's how all the – and don't you love when my underwear is sticking out too? And so they don't know. So in your orientation and in your ongoing training, which, by the way, would be highly interactive, this is where online learning will be in 10 years. The reason it hasn't been working is because we've been trying to use it with farmers who are like, I want to be with this. I want to put my stamp on. You can't put your stamp on online learning. It's a one-way sport. Millennials love, will love online learning. They're, first of all, they're already exposed to it. Second, they can figure out how to find it. You know, I'm looking in there and find it. You know, where's the webinar? Where's the web By the time I get to the webinar, it was over. Right? The millennials, they know how to use that tool, and at the same time, they, they don't need the interactive is their participation with the online. It's a different type of participation. So online learning will actually take off here in the next decade as the millennials move into um, you know, the job market at an even faster speed, um, and not to mention the generation that's following them. So a couple other things um, important to know about millennials is they are all about the fun. Say, so you had the extras with quality of life, and this is a lifestyle crowd. This is the fun thing. They love hanging out. That's why girlfriend getaways are big with this generation and boomers. Boomers because it's all about me, and I am getting away with my girlfriends, and that's just the way it's going to be. And then over here, the millennials, it's like they like to hang. Where you have great areas for them to hang in your hotel, that's when a site tour, you want to show them that. They love that. They love places to be together. They hang together. This is very, very important for them. They, um, they also are, love their, their, they honor their parents a lot. They want their opinion. They also